Welcome to your spelling cast for this week. It looks like we're, we're about ready for some spelling. Ready, ready, ready. Um, ow, ow, oh, got it now. No, oh, I already had a bandaid on it. All right, so we need some glue, or no, we don't need glue. We do need glue. There's our glue. We need some scissors with round tip. We also need a pencil. Make sure it's sharp enough to do some writing. Your zip top bag so we can put words in it once we're done so we can use them later. And our spelling book. And the most important thing is bum, 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 our spelling words. Don't forget these spelling words. All right. Look at them over. Give them a good look-see. And let's see what we got going here today. All right? All right. So let's see what we got. Let's get our book all ready. Let's do some cutting. Looks like we're going to do some long E patterns. Long E patterns. But you'll look at these and you'll say, hey, Mr. Anderson, it looks like feather. That's not a long vowel. It's because we got a couple short ones we got to do also. But this one's an interesting one because we're looking at two or two different patterns, the EE and the EA, but we're going to be splitting them up and putting them together and all kinds of things. So you may have to recognize the difference in the letter patterns when you spell these. But there's a couple things that we're going to check out to see if it helps you, all right? So, I've got my thingy there, my pattern, but I'm also going to cut these into threes so I can give me a good cut. All right. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Now, don't forget, the reason why we are doing these spelling lessons is because I want you to be a better reader and a better writer. Better reader because you'll be able to recognize words better. There's our exemplars. And then I'm going to just cut these in threes down here. But I also want you to be a better writer. Um, when we communicate with other people, we want them to understand what we're trying to say. Being a good speller, being a speller that, you, that people can recognize what's going on, means that they're going to be able to communicate better and understand what you are trying to say. Oops, drop my pencil. Where'd my pencil go? Oh, there it is. All right, so get your words, Eastern, steady, healthy. Get them put around the outside of your book so that we can do some uh, looking at some of these. There's feather. Looks like we got a needle there. Extreme, 15. Um, pleasant meaning. Ooh, that's a pleasant meaning indeed. <laughs> Those three words made a sentence. Okay, sweater, compete, feature, freedom. Make sure you're saying them as you do this. Make sure you say them out loud, not just in your head, because what's in your head does not always translate what comes out your mouth. Know what I mean, Jelly Bean? All right, so here we go. Let's do this thing first. Now, I have that syllables and affixes up there, but you know what? I'm not too worried about that. I want the sort and the title right there. So then I'm going to cut this across here and maybe a little bit down there. That way I've got a nice piece of paper that I can glue on to my top. So let's take this title and we're going to glue it across the top. Make sure that you can read it and make sure it's above. All right, there we go. Get that on there. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be there so we know which words you've done and which ones you haven't. All right, so we got sort 21. We've got the long E. Remember, the long E is an E sound. Okay, long E patterns in accented syllables. That is key. What's a syllable? All right, syllables are... When we do this, now that's applause, but we actually do that because if I take a word like syllable, syllable, sill is one, la is two, bulls is three, three syllables in this. 
And you'll notice that in ours, we're going to have probably two, maybe three. I guess we'll find out when we get in there. I'm guessing probably two. But when we find a syllable, we're going to find out which one has the accent. The accent is the one that you say a little bit louder and a little bit higher. So we go syllable. Syl, hear the difference in my voice? Syl, a, uh, bowl. So we got accent, not, and not. Accented. Ac is the syllable that is accented. Patterns. Patterns. In. Okay? And we'll, we'll look at some of those in just a minute. But first off, let's get our exemplars up here. All right, notice what I'm doing here. I'm going to put these right here, but I'm going to leave that top line blank. So I'm going to go first, long, and look at that. I even have a pattern on how wide I can have these. First, short, and second, long. And you're saying, first what? First what? Second what? I'm going to show you in just a minute. Okay, take those, underline them, and put these in your zip top bag at this time. Boom. All right. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about this word right here first. Needle. Needle. Can you hear where the accent is? Is that in the first part of the word or the second part? Needle. Yes, it is in the first. So we're going to go needle. Needle. Knee. There are E patterns. E. Knee. Dull. So we've got needle. Needle. Accent is in the very beginning. Accent is in the beginning. All right? You'll notice that the N-E-E -E is the first syllable. Knee. Dull. And I don't know if you know this, but every syllable needs to have a vowel. Vowels. Vowels. Even though we don't say the vowel, that could be the vowel that is in that second syllable. So we got knee, do. Accent here, not there. All right? And that's the E sound. That's the long E. Put that word in your zip top bag. Let's go to the first short. Let's do a word like feather. F E A T H E R. Feather. So I'm going to put the line right there, fe, fe, ther. See how that one is a little higher, a little lower on that second? That is the accented syllable right there. Fe, ther. Vowels, vowel. All right? That's how we tell the, the, uh, the syllables. All right, so there's our short. Fe, knee, long, short. Knee, long, Fe short. Now let's get to this second long and see what it means. Because this is where you say, what? Don't we always say, uh-uh, feather? We don't. Succeed. You hear it? Succeed. That second, that syllable on that second part of the word. So let's write it. S-U-C-C-E-E-D. Suck, seed, succeed. So there's our first vowel. There's our second vowel sound. And that is where the accent is. Succeed. All right? So when we talk about accented syllables, what I'm actually talking about is where is the accent on what part of the word. Every word has an accent on it. So let's do, let's do a couple more, and then we're going to be completely done here. So let's do this one right here. Defeat. Defeat. First or second? Second. So we're going to go D-E-F-E-A-T. D -D feet. There is the pattern where we've got the syllable, syllable. D. But feet is over here 
on that second syllable. And it's long. So this is where you got to start memorizing, not memorizing, but recognizing that EE and EA could have the same sound. Could you possibly write in D-E-F-E-E-T at times? Yeah, it could happen. But if you have a spell check and it brings up D-E-F-E-A-T, you need to recognize that that is the right spelling, D-E-F-E-A-T. All right? Recognizing is also important. But spelling, knowing the patterns, is even more important. Um, let's do another one. Let's do leather. Leather. L-E-A-T-H-E-R. Eh, short, leather. And I want you to notice a pattern on the short. There's a pattern on this short one that I want you to check out. I want you to know what that pattern is. So I'm going to ask you a little bit later about that. So now what I need you to do is I need you to take all the rest of the words and I need you to put them on here under the first long, first short, or second long. I also need you to put the lines where the syllable is. You need to know that. All right? But there is a, you can look in a dictionary if you've got a dictionary. It will help you and show you where the patterns are, where those lines are. It'll separate the words so you can see where the syllables are. All right. Um, get her done. Have a good time. And remember how we're talking about syllables and stuff. All right. Good luck.